It's great. Uh, I wouldn't say it right now because it's quite cloudy and after the darkness we want to go out to look for some more snakes. So I think we should be prepared for getting wet again. And this time we are going just for one night. So as you can maybe see we are taking just really few things, small bags with cameras, few clothes just very necessary things and we left all the heavy bags in the car down there near the main road Nicholas saw a vine snake, beautiful individual, and it's our first snake from genus Oxybelis ever. First vine snake in Americas, so it's really cool. Mm So we are here in the forest and something extraordinary just happened. Nicholas just came to check something just next to the trail and then he's like, oh, there's a bushmaster. And we're like, are you kidding me? What? And it's like, there's a bushmaster. Wow. Really Is this there. really true? Yeah. I you you so. probably don't see it in the GoPro, but we can see a bushmaster <laughs> down there. Yeah, the okay. snake is really there. We can tell you there's a bushmaster. <laughs> oh my god, this is not possible. Wow, it's a bushmaster. Yeah. Oh no, it's a tersiopel. <laughs> <laughs> oh sorry, it's a tersiopel. <laughs> oh, it's a nope. big one. Wow, it's a nice one. No, dark dark coloration. One. And look look at yeah, the spot. Is... There's a huge tree. Huge tree. Beautiful huge tree. Exactly. And it's like... just oh, down it's there. Nice down there. Just in the middle of this big is the, it's exactly roots. the spot where you would expect it. Yeah, where you would just like think that the snake can be there. Okay. Wow. Wow, this is amazing moment. And it's not like even hidden, it's just Yeah, it's there. just like it's nicely no tonight. coiled there. This is how cocktail the was too, more or less. Uh -huh. It's out. Wow. Beautiful. That's a huge snake. It's a big one. That's there. huge. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Is this I'm just really speechless. You know? <laughs> Me too. <laughs> okay. I was like, okay, we can find many things. This tonight. doesn't <laughs> happen. Probably happen not every a day. <laughs> wow. So what happens next? What you happens you, next? you, you call, call Sebastian? Sebastian? We're gonna be careful not to have him leave. Usually they don't. Okay. And we are going to. Um, okay, there's no reception. Okay. No, aha. Uh -huh. Aha, uh -huh. okay. So, 30 minute walk. are we able to bag it or we can't? No, I haven't. No, no. Well, 
What was we're the, not what's even the procedure? We're not even sure if we won a fifth push master yet. Ah, yeah. uh -huh. sure. you are not even yeah. sure. Because okay. we can't, we don't even know how much extra work having four is going to be yet. Okay. So uh -huh. having five is like a whole different. Uh huh. That's like okay. what we'll do. The six on C2, nice and C2 photos. Uh -huh. Yes, the fancy. Yep. <laughs> be very careful not to flush him. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Yes. And then. I will leave all my stuff with you guys. Mm -hmm. Keep him in C2, just like sit yes, up here. Yes, and you he will leave, go to us and I will tell him what run. to do. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I will be very Yeah, tired. and then we'll see what he says. We'll try to get some in C2 footage and in C2 pictures of Are this beautiful and amazing snake. Is that already some in situ videos? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was already filming a little bit. Okay, let's hope. None of my camera gear broke earlier uh -huh. today. Yeah. Because <laughs> I haven't yeah. shot at these things in C2. Well, it was like a couple of test shots. Nothing serious. Let's see. What did we? I guess so. Mm hmm. Did you close my door in here? Nicholas is now running back to the field station and he's going to ask Sebastian what to do now because it's not like sure that um, the Bushmaster Conservation Project um, wants another individual right now, maybe yes, maybe not. So he will come back and then we will take it from there. We'll see if this snake should be caught and it will get a transmitter implanted or if it will be just left alone on this spot. Um, in the meantime, we will try to get some pictures yeah, of the I'm snake and hopefully the snake will stay on the spot. We will try not to scare it. We are Very keeping careful. our distance. So everything should be fine. So? We are going to leave it. Okay. Yes, uh -huh. four or five is just too much work. Okay, uh huh. Yeah, but we can take a couple more photos. Uh huh. So it's not like completely remove it, but yep. maybe get a couple different angles. Mm -hmm. But who didn't bring middle eyes? No, I, I only made it to the tower where there's reception. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Mm hmm, okay. mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Sorry. It doesn't matter. Or maybe okay. we'll go there for it, or I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, but okay. That is, that is the story. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so this Bushmaster will remain here in the forest and will be not tracked for now.
so we are slowly leaving this beautiful snake a wild bushmaster here in its spot maybe we will go to check it um, tomorrow morning if it's still here who knows maybe it will be here and yeah let's continue so it's another morning and we are going to check if the Bushmaster is still on the spot where we found it last night. And we go! <laughs> Expedition leader leads the way. He's <laughs> un jefe de la selva. We are at the same spot and what do you say Nicolas? Uh -huh. uh, looks like the snake is not on the exactly same spot. Let's check the hole, which is just near the place where it was during the night. No? No? Uh huh. Okay. Is there? Uh uh. No? No. So, mm -hmm. the search begins. <laughs> so, the Bushmaster is not here. It's either hidden or it moved somewhere. So, maybe Nicholas will try to check it um, during the night. The chance will be probably bigger to find it and see it. But yeah, this morning it is hidden. Service, please. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Hola, baby. Hola. ¿Qué tal? Bien. ¿Cómo te sientas? So, we wish you a happy, safe life here. So today we came for a walk in Kahuita National Park. We were looking for some other animals than snakes, maybe slots, um, raccoons or other <laughs> animals. Um, 
We saw two slots, but they were sleeping. <laughs> and then just next to the trail, um, we saw this. So the eyelash uh, pit vipers can be seen quite easily even during the day in some places like Kahuita National Park and especially the yellow ones um, and it starts to rain again. Yeah. It's another night when it's raining like crazy. I'm totally wet. We already wanted to go back but then Susanna saw a snake quite far away in the distance and the eyes were shining. That's actually very rare. The eyes of uh, snakes are not shining. You can't find them like that. You can find crocodiles, for example, like that. Or eyes of uh, some spiders are shining. Uh, mammals. Yeah, mammals, of course. But in terms of snakes, that is very rare. And um, it works for, um, for these uh, boas of genus Corallus. This is a small baby and we finally got to the place where we saw it but it was super super crazy so um, we had to climb over over this um, like big rock and down there is a small waterfall and a very deep water some people maybe think that looking for snakes and filming snakes it's easy job but it's not like that mostly i would say um, we were totally wet two times today on two different locations but um, three times yeah that's what i wanted uh. to say that when we were going back to our accommodation uh, the weather decided to give us one more rainforest shower so we were going up in the totally muddy steep slope uh, and we are totally wet again yeah we found at least one snake which is I would say even quite surprising in this weather um, we are not very lucky for the weather it's like almost 3 p.m. and now it stopped raining it was heavy 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 raining uh, for the whole day the whole night during the night we uh, were totally wet two times but now it looks a little bit better so um, we will film the snake we found last night and we can enjoy this place a little bit <laughs> <laughs> the best thing on this place when it's raining is this great bed because it's uh, not wet, it's perfectly dry and mosquitoes can't go inside. Yeah. It's great. So otherwise the mosquitoes are everywhere and as the the house is very open and uh, in most of the areas you get some humidity or water inside but the view is just spectacular this is our first musurana um, it's a beautiful snake these snakes hunt other snakes a lot and they are immune to venom of pit vipers so um, they are very famous for that in America and um, when they are young they have nice pink or red color and uh, then they change the color and this is not a very big adult they can grow to bigger size but it's already you know adult coloration beautiful iridescent uh, bluish purplish I would say
it looks like somebody is cooking. Yeah. Mm. We can we can uh, look forward to have uh, some very good dinner. What it's gonna be? Pasta with tomato sauce and vegetables. Oh, and yummy! You know, we can't just film the snakes all the time. We have to also eat. <laughs> Sometimes, yeah. Sometimes. In Central and South America, um, you should not pick up any banded snake with black, yellow or red bands if you don't know what kind of snake it is. Because you have here coral snakes which are um, deadly venomous and then you have here mimics. And here we have one from Costa Rica. Uh, beautiful snake uh, it's from genus Pliocercus and as you can see um, for the first glance it resembles uh, Micros multifasciatus which is a species of coral snake quite a lot uh, but it's not deadly venomous Pedro, le habla por acá. Usually people uh, think that Terciopelo tries try to attack you a lot or they try to bite you. But from our experience, if you work carefully and slowly the snake is is not trying to bite you or anything so we are now let's say maybe a meter from this big ferdelands and the snake is just nicely coiling up itself under this um, big tree and really this this snake um, has a terrible reputation everywhere we go uh, people tell us that these snakes were uh, trying to bite them or even like chasing them um, we have worked with I would say already like 15 individuals together on both our trips to Costa Rica um, I don't remember the exact number because we were working or we saw many many babies so um, we were not like exactly counting them but we basically didn't encounter a Ferdelands which was really striking a lot trying to you know bite and we think that um, it's a lot about the way you approach these snakes and the way how you work with them and in many documentaries about venomous snakes um, all the the topic about these animals is dramatized a lot and when people work with these animals in a fast way they make fast movements you know they scare these animals um, then of course the animal is going to defend itself and these animals have amazing weapons in their bodies and those those are fangs and venom glands so if they really feel threatened uh, they might try to use the venom but of course um, the venom evolved for uh, killing prey and snakes are actually quite fragile and um, they just don't want to fight with the prey because they can get badly injured so that's why the venom uh, evolved so they can just inject the venom and the prey will die quickly without a fight um, so of course the snake will use the venom to defend itself only if you really corner it if you make it really really scared and it feels really threatened so last night 
the snake was coiled just on this spot next, next to the swamp. Yeah, next to the swamp. <laughs> so you can now go into the bushes and find a place where he wants to stay. We are now working with a very interesting uh, pit viper species. It's Portidium nasutum, hognose pit viper. And this individual has beautiful color. Um, it has a small horn on the head, on the nose. And it's very interesting convergent evolution to, for example, nose horned viper, which we have in Europe. And we actually have it in our logo, Living Zoology, because it's the first venomous snake we found together with Susanna. So um, we will probably put these two species uh, in one video uh, to show you the amazing convergence in, in nature. And it's a very, very uh, chilled snake. It looks like that, mm -hmm. but they can it's strike. Not. So um, you need to be careful with them. Let's release this beautiful snake into its natural habitat. Ooh, there it goes, it's really fast and beautiful. So it is time to release this beautiful hognose pit viper, amazingly stunning snake, amazing colors, and here he goes to its natural habitat. We are back in Alacuela, near San Jose, uh, near the airport. We just arrived with the second car of this trip. The first one we didn't use for a long time. And luckily this one we didn't break, we didn't crash. So we are happy to be here. The car is safely parked here and our trip to Costa Rica is finished. Hi, we are Zuzana and Matej from Living Zoology. Thank you for watching our video. If you liked it, don't forget to subscribe and also hit the notifications bell so you don't miss any future videos. Or if you want to support us even more, you can become a member of our YouTube channel. You can also buy our snake merchandise. 
The link to the store is in the description under the video. Thank you very much. Thank you.